Good morning guys. Well, last night we had an excellent shower. Came down nice and steady for a while. So we're just getting ready to start the John Deere 7290R up here and pull back air. And we got about two more loads and some scraping done. And we should be cleaned up. So it will feel good to have that all cleaned up for once. Okay guys, in this uh, video uh, I want to talk about five reasons really quickly, you know, why uh, we chose to go the route we are going. I get a lot of criticism and I just wish some of you guys would just uh, chill out and just watch the videos and learn uh, what's going on. And you'll see in a very short period of time how we came up with this uh, decision of what we're doing. Um, First of all, this is 132 acres, almost 133 acres total uh, farm here that we run. And uh, to expand here on this farm is not uh, feasible. Uh, first of all, the biggest thing is manure storage. Uh, did not have manure storage on this property. And when you start pushing the amount of cattle we were running, um, you can't keep up with manure. Yes, we can spend another 60000 minimum of 60000 to put manure storage in it. Any uh, well-educated farmer will tell you exactly what manure storage takes and what it costs to put in a, you know, a pit or um, any kind of storage with concrete because you can't have manure running over and stuff like that, especially when you're right next to a street. Building size. We can't expand the building anymore. Uh, without putting a lot of um, detail work in it where we don't want to actually build the building over top of the, the pit to save up ground space, which we could have, but again, then you have all your manure inside with the cattle. The manure shouldn't be inside. Uh, ideally, this barn should have been uh, with a concrete pit underneath up here where they're eating so the manure would fall down in the pit and come out to the, where the skid loader sits here and be able to pump it out. Uh, those are the two biggest ones. Uh, creating enough feed, it was no problem for the amount of cattle that I want to run here on the farm, uh, being with a custom operator, uh, doing work and buying feed off other farmers, trading work for other uh, feed. Um, there's a lot of possibilities, so that wasn't a factor. Um, so manure stir is going to stick out number one. Uh, space around here in the barn to actually um, create more housing for cattle was not an option. So sometimes financially decisions are made. I paid a certain price for this farm and I'm going to come out on top. Um, with the new owners of the property they're going to be able to do what they want to do. Uh, this is a commercial property uh, so you can understand where that's coming from. If you're a farmer, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Non-ag uh, people and uh, maybe not catch up on that yet. So, uh, like I said in my other videos, this barn will come down. Uh, the big steer barn. This gives me two options with this barn. There's nothing wrong with this barn. Uh, pouring new concrete where it allows me to actually pour a pit underneath where the cattle are eating. Uh, to help clean up and keep uh, liquid contained. Um, so upgrading to another property is actually beneficial to me because I get to design it and the way I like it uh, and uh, make more things to make more sense. I'm going to try to keep these videos short, but um, yeah, I got a lot of you guys puzzled and uh, I just can't believe uh, you guys never seen uh, farmers make decisions in their operations and, and change. A lot of times you just see on YouTube, you know, just driving equipment, you don't get to see actual um, farms get upgraded um, like this here on my channel, what's going to happen. Uh, this allows me to run with a lot less debt on the new property because of the way we're running and structuring things. So the cattle are, are just uh, finishing up their feed here. I'm gonna scrape the alleyway. I am gonna ship a, a load of uh, blacks out on top up there 
something that's really hard for me to do, but at the same time, try moving cattle and not having an area to put them until the new uh, structure is up. Uh, some people said about, some of you guys said, you know, I built a, a nice herd and it's gonna be hard to come back. No, I have accomplished many goals in my life, big and small. So if I can raise a herd like I did here, does it mean I cannot build one again? No. Um, it's just uh, somebody's going to benefit with some nice calves. Uh, some of the heifer calves I do not want to let go. I'm going to keep as many as I can back, but most of these in this pen will probably leave today. And uh, try to keep my nicer heifers and, and ones I want to work with. But uh, Moving cattle is very stressful. Uh, especially if you don't have a building to go in right away and one a building has to come down so that's the reason with the cows and the calves um, it won't take me long to build a nice herd up again it doesn't when you lose your cattle doesn't mean you can't come back with better genetics and everything else so manure storage is the biggest one growth on this farm was not an option uh, being landlocked uh, allows me to uh, not expand without buying land and land was not for sale around me. So I had the opportunity a few years ago uh, to do some uh, changes with uh, zoning and stuff like that and that happened. So by now I'm hoping some of you guys realize what's happening and uh, without me explaining it right to the T and I shouldn't have to. I mean you guys have, should be smart enough to figure this one out by now. Um, so we're going to pull the barn down. Uh, you guys get to see it on YouTube here with our channel as a whole young first generation farm family move to a new location and rebuild. Um, some of you are really stuck on the debt part, but I, I think eventually you're going to see the picture here. Um, what's happening. I'm actually doing a financially, uh, move that's going to, benefit the whole family for a long term without carrying a lot of debt to hardly any. So um, one thing on this channel, we wanted to show the things as in real life as possible. In the beginning of our lives, we didn't show everything and it made a lot of confusing like, well, how do you just walk into a cow operation like this and nothing. Uh, I did a lot of hard work. I invested money in property. Um, I've done a lot of things that I don't talk about. So that you guys that are you know finding it very hard to believe and everything else and um you just need to relax enjoy it because this is not what you're going to see on youtube probably probably ever uh that i know of uh where you actually pick up a farm and you move it and you you actually upgrade so and uh, the 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 plays that we made to make that happen is complicated and, and uh I know some of you guys already figured it out, and that's great, but um, see the big picture at the end. If you don't have something nice or positive to say about the comments, hold it until we get in about the next six to eight months, and then come back and say, well, yeah, I see what you're doing now, and not being so, like, tearing it down or, or my things or the way we're doing it. I had a lot of guys different guys come here from YouTube to visit the farm and operation and um, we don't hide anything I just don't need to go into details of financials and everything else um, so I hope you enjoy the morning video I think I got the manure storage redesigned the barn this is where we need slatted floor and if you don't know what slanted floor is or slatted floor with a pit underneath it there's probably a channel out there or you can research it until I get the new one started and built. Redesigning it, I know where my flaws are. Not having calving pens, um, not having a working area uh, for um, headlocks and stuff like that. Uh, cattle are very, very uh, unpredictable. So, trying to keep it under 10 minutes here, guys. So, uh, equipment storage, I don't have that there. I had to build another building for that. So these are all the things I can play into a new place and uh, and be able to have a nice shop and stuff like that. And long term is very important because 
my two oldest boys, my third one, and, and the girls, they want to farm and they want to have uh, ways of continuing to grow. A little calf there laying there, so. Like that mom and that calf shouldn't be in here with all these cows. It just could have something happen to it. So that's where a calving pen would help for two or three weeks, you know, if we want to hold her back. But we got a couple more here getting ready to freshen and uh, for our fall calves. Um, yeah, so growth was the biggest problem and we found a way to upgrade without costing me anything, hardly. Hope you guys have a great uh, Thursday morning and uh, we'll talk to you later. Leave your comments, you know, keep them positive. And uh, again, if you don't have something to say, but you will see a transform of this farm into another operation. And it's going to be just a short period of time, so which some people would take years to do what we're going to do in a couple months. So I um, hope you have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you later.